Hey everybody, thanks for watching Your Oxford. I'm your host, Jerry Accioni. As you can see, unfortunately, Sarah is unable to attend today as she is working. So she sends her regards. Uh, again, huge, huge, huge thank you to Christine. We are at our seventh location here for Your Oxford. We are at Horizon Natural Health Center at 34 Harvey Street, right here in beautiful Tilsonburg. So make sure you check them out. Uh, hopefully you were able to pop in here, do some of your holiday shopping. And uh, don't forget, shop local. We are here with Emma, Emma Blake. Yes. You are the co-chair yep. of Oxford County Suicide Prevention Team. That's right, yep. I love this, I love this. Um, I hate the need, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Unfortunately here in Oxford County, um, you know, we've hit the news. We have. Right? Yep. Um, so don't be a downer, but we want people to know we are doing something about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And your team is doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about uh, why you started, how you started and everything. Yeah, so our um, the initial funding for this team came from the Ministry of Children and Youth Services. Um, uh, it kind of funneled through the London Family Court Clinic and they were setting up different suicide prevention teams in Middlesex, Elgin, Oxford. And so our group kind of started in Oxford in um, I would say late 2014, early mm -hmm. 2015. Um, and, and the focus was really to kind of, um, because it was MCOIS funded, the Ministry of Children and Youth Services, it was youth specific. Yeah. Um, and so our goal was to, um, exactly kind of what our title is, to, to do suicide prevention within Oxford County. Um, and slowly as the funds ran out, we knew that we needed to become sustainable. Right. There have been other uh, suicide prevention committees that have existed in Oxford County previously, um, but because of just either lack of commitment or position changes or whatever it was, mm -hmm. it was it wasn't sustainable. And so we really wanted to make an effort into um, how do we make this sustainable. Uh, so we expanded to providing support and suicide prevention to all ages. Right. Um, and unfortunately, right when we were starting to get our feet um, kind of grounded, yeah. um, we also hit the, the unfortunate crisis in our community. And mm -hmm. so um, it gave us even more purpose to keep going um, and to make sure that we didn't fall apart again. Yeah. So who is all part of this team? It's a great question. What I love about this team is that it's it's such community based. So you've got uh, various different uh, mental health agencies, public health, the county, um, city of Woodstock, um, and community members, uh, people who have been affected by suicide, mm -hmm. uh, parents who have lost uh, children to suicide. Uh, people who have just lost family members to suicide. And so we really, we call ourselves a team as opposed to a committee because we really function that way. Uh, we, we work together to really make change in the community and to help support the community in preventing suicide. Yeah. 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 Now, um, so let's talk about funding real briefly, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Of course you mentioned lack of funding. Right. <laughs> How is the team planning to move forward because I know, again, you do have some other things upcoming. Yes. Um, where's your funding going to come it's from? It's a great question. What are you looking for? So uh, the funding, like I said, originally came from um, a Ministry of, of mm -hmm. Children and Youth Services initiative. And the funding has run out. And so that means that um, our community agencies are trying to support us as much as they can. So we're talking about the CMHAs. Yes. The, the, yes. Um, United Way helping out at all yet? Um, have they been approached? No, they haven't. And that's kind mm -hmm. of one of our main goals because of the crisis and because we're so new in the last two years we've really just mm -hmm. we're really just starting to get going and this is kind of our first full year of being sustainable on our own because mm -hmm. we did have outside help previously in terms of making sure that our meetings were you know running every other month like we usually meet and yeah. um, things like that and so uh, we we rely on donations fundraising um, and things like that well let's put the word out there yes, for everybody please. at home that uh, as you see as as most Good uh, committees and, and things for the committee, you always seem to run into problems with money. Um, please be generous, mm -hmm. okay? If you've been touched, even if you haven't been touched and you just know of anybody at all, please be generous to organizations like this. Um, I think it's really, you know, my involvement at the city level, I know, yeah. is, is we're dedicated to uh, committing yeah. to help this committee forward. We do believe you've got the support 
um, from all the tiers basically you need. So now yeah. let's just make sure we have the funding to keep it going because I really do, unfortunately, I think there's a huge need out there. And yes, absolutely. So anytime yeah. you need help as a committee, please make sure you reach out to your Oxford. Yes, okay. thank you. We, um, we, we've unfortunately been touched in our family circle as well. Right. So uh, we're, we're certainly, is our heart is behind this and we'll certainly help anyway. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Yeah. So, again, it's a holiday season. Unfortunately, yes. some, sometimes people can feel down this time of year. Yeah. What do you suggest they do? If they do. It's a great question. There's there's so many different resources in the community and I think that people just sometimes aren't aware of what's out there. So one, if, if anybody is struggling with any thoughts of suicide and needs support right away, we do have um, a crisis line number. It's called mm -hmm. Reach Out um, and it's 1-866-933-2023. Um, it is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, online or via phone um, and it's yeah. a great resource and if it's not the right spot um, if you're still just struggling and and just need to talk to somebody that's always there there are other resources in the community as well yeah. um, like we have uh, Oxford County walk-in counseling that's available uh, that. five yep. days a week um, at d various different sites and um, and so there's there's always that as well um, which is great because before it would take so long to access service. Sure. Um, and so now there's somebody to talk to right away, five yeah. days a week. Yeah. yeah. And there is, we were just briefly off uh, when the cameras weren't on yet, talking about there's a new texting line and, you know, there, there's just, please, everybody reach out. Mm -hmm. uh, as a family member, if you're fearful for someone, um, please reach out, make sure they have those resources handy. So when they are in a time of need that... Um, they know where to reach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, happy holidays. Yes, to Merry you Christmas. as well. Merry Christmas. And uh, again, make sure you let us know here at your Oxford. We'd love to help. Great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And please, again, at home, be generous. Uh, volunteers are always needed. Uh, financial cash donations are always needed. So keep that in mind. Okay. I know I, I always seem to be asking for money, but be generous, find something that means something to you in your heart and be generous. Okay. Whew. I did that and I almost shed a tear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks everybody for all your support here at your Oxford. Again, Christine, thank you so much for allowing us here in your space. Please make sure you check them out here at Horizon Natural Health Center, 34 Harvey Street, right downtown Tilsonburg. Beautiful spot. Happy holidays, everybody from all of us here. Take care.